clarifications and a few attacks on Mr. Solomon and what he said and how it's been interpreted or how people have interpreted it. But I certainly have made a point of not actually reading what Mr. Solomon said because it doesn't have a concern to me. As I've said many times, and I, I'm not sure how you stand this, but I assume you have roughly the same male viewpoint. We're responsible for our own actions. If Mr. Solomon wants to say something that a million people take offence at, that's his lookout, not mine. Um, if I say something conversely that uh, a lot of people take offence at, then fine, I get held responsible for that, uh, for what I say. But we should, I think the element of personal responsibility, which sort of is related to a, a very quick topic I want to bring up next, um, is very relevant. Um, and that anything you type on the net, anything we say on this audio cast, should be held accountable to the person saying it or writing it, not anybody else. And I don't expect Roy to be challenged over things that I've said and asked to justify me. And conversely, I'm not expecting somebody to justify, ask me to justify Roy or to challenge uh, challenge me over what Roy said. Um, we all have our own opinions, we're all responsible for them. But with that in mind, I'd just very briefly like to touch on um, the recent news here in the UK about the four large ISPs that are looking to censor uh, adult material from the net unless you uh, opt into receiving adult um, content. And just wanted to get your views on it, on either Rusty or Roy, either or, go first. Was it actually to do with that? I thought it was just general censorship for all sorts of sites and it's objectionable? Or? It's, it's, it's been reported in the media as being adult content, but in adult content yeah. it's quite a, yeah. quite a large scope because you've got the, you could argue, file sharing sites that are, are sharing 18 media. It, it's going to be... I have... I would... I have mixed feelings whenever things like this get mixed out. I don't have kids. I hope to have kids someday. I'm not a big fan on censoring the world from children, but I understand parents that want to. And you could argue that this is a feature for something like that. But if that really is what the goal is, then it should be opt-in, not automatic, and you have to opt out. Oh, you pervert. You know, or, or, or whatever. You know, it's like if somebody wants to censor their kid's system, they can... Put well, yeah, uh, in. many. I'm, I'm surprised you, you put it. As, I mean, I've read about it from the open rights group as well. I'm surprised you mentioned porn as the because I thought it was about something else. And maybe Which, maybe, maybe there is ambiguity. Maybe maybe this is something to be discussed as well. well if, it was if big, they are marketing this in a false way of trying it's been to say it's, it's sorry. It's been reported in the media. It's been adult content. Um, which is quite a large spectrum of things. And like I say, yeah, one could argue that a false sharing site sharing mating movies would be classed as adult content. Because well, they, they could put the uh, facilitate by law and start with something like porn, which yeah. is the protect the children thing, and then adds things to it uh, and say, well, that's part of the same package. So I, I probably should read more about it and just find out to be sure. But. I mean, I, I see the uh, the fundamental idea behind it, and that's protecting um, young people. Uh, if that was a true ethos, actually, I think that's yeah, I think that's is great. Is it going to work? Is it actually going? Well, to no, but like I said, if that's the if that's the true point of it, then yeah. it should be an option for parents to enable, yeah. not. It's well, automatic. Oh, we're assuming you're I mean, five. I'll tell you several <laughs> issues. One of the things, they'll not get all the domains, so they'll still get all kinds of pop-ups and something popping up in front of the children. The other thing that will happen is, you know, in the household, if they do it an ISP level, you know, many people share the connection. So the parents will have conflicting interests with respect to the kids. The kids, uh, in the same way, you know, in all cases, so you have to limit per user, like some, sometimes the same... Well, and, and and here's users. the thing: you can't really do that because if I get uh, this is uh, I probably shouldn't admit this, but when I was a teenager, this was something all of us did. You know, uh, it, it was like a rite of passage figuring out how to hack around the parental controls that the ISP was putting on our account. Because unless it's on the actual IP connection redirecting, there are plenty of ways to get around it. Boys will be boys. You should tell the ISP. <laughs> You see, I, I, my view, my view is, is this. I've read very briefly um, a couple of viewpoints on on this uh, censorship in quotes, as they call it, and categorically, without doubt, young people should not be accessing uh, or viewing adult material. However, in reality, uh, Roy made a comment: boys will be boys, and you, obviously, there's going to be an element of people who will try to get round uh, any sort of circuit. Uh, well, and like blocks. I said, yeah, when I was a kid, I however, that stuff. So it's like really, I, I would, I would, 
I know if they're determined, I can't stop them. But then, it's, but then, it's not, it's not just the intro. I mean, look at the young people; what they do, they can get magazines and stuff. They're yeah, so then, very magazines. Yeah. It's not. It's not just the internet. So but to then, try and prevent their eyes from seeing these things. It's. It's just. It's a straight. It's just like a war against drugs. Uh, right. And and the problem is the adults here. Uh, and I'm not saying it's nothing to do with adult material. Just wait; they'll, they'll censor all kinds of sites that have nothing to do with adult material, and say, "No, no, we're not censoring. You can opt out." We, we, could, we, we can maybe argue what they may or may not censor in the future. But the, the point I would like to make is this: this is another typical example where parental responsibility is being passed over to other other people or other agencies. We live in this culture these days where. If something happens, it's never the fault of the of the parent. It's always somebody else's fault. Now, my view would be, I don't want my children exposed to adult material. I don't want my children exposed to any harmful material on the net or on the television or otherwise, which is why I will supervise them when they're on the internet or on the television. Uh, I won't allow them to have a free-for-all on the net and go surfing where they like. And if, they, if I'm not about to supervise them, then I, they won't be going on the internet. I don't well, need I, 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 I don't I, 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 an ISP... I to prevent oh, yeah. that. Sorry, I'll just, I'll just finish this bit. And I think, yet again, this is another example whereby parents and people that are campaigning for this type of uh, blocking are passing the buck of parental responsibility. If I'm walking across the road with my child, I don't walk in front of a car believing that the person driving the car will stop. I would stop at the pavement and I'll make sure that it's safe to cross before I walk across the road. I don't put my responsibility of my children in the hands of somebody right. else. Um, when they're at school, it's a slightly different matter because the responsibility goes to the parent, uh, to the teachers, and the teachers have the same responsibility as I do when they're looking after my kids. Um, and I think this block is probably going to be abused later on um, after it gets passed through. Well, if you want to, uh, if you want to just uh, block the different layer, you could just buy them an iPhone or an iPad because you know this is Steve Jobs' policy. Uh, but the uh, yeah, I was, I was just the internet is evil. There's boobs out there. <laughs> well, I, and, the fun, and of course, the funny thing here again, I mean, Apple, you, you know the big controversy over Apple and porn. I mean, the kids then opens a web browser, you know, it's, it's there. So, so, you know. I did a video on how stupid that, I mean, it took me 30 seconds to find stuff no parent wants their kids looking at on an iPhone device. It was just... Yeah. <laughs> and, and this is why maybe the responsibility should be parental responsibility in the first place, because as we've discussed, I think any block can be easily circumvented by word of mouth. Well, and, and, and see, I, I, at the end of the day, no matter how good a parent or teacher or whatever, you cannot watch a kid 24-7. Uh, and if a kid is determined to do something, they're going to do it. And like you said, at the end of the day, the best thing is parental uh, advisement and parental responsibility because eventually children start to grow up. Eventually, they are not supervised, and they make decisions hopefully based on what you taught them, which means at the end of the day, it still comes back to mom and dad or whoever. But, you know, that's... But I, I, I mean, it's it's a massive topic, topic, and uh, probably one we should have started at the beginning of the show. But um, yeah, it's it's certainly going to be interesting to see how this block, if it does uh, does come into full force, will adapt uh, for the future and could be used to block up other uh, other avenues on the net and not certainly uh, adult material, so to speak. One thing I just point out though, um, I don't know how many people. Uh, have a similar experience, but my um, service provider for my phone is uh, T-Mobile, and uh, when I first got it, obviously I tried surfing the net, and I was having quite a good experience surfing it and browsing the web. However, I hit upon what it deemed as an adult site, which was, I think it was just a forum, and it maybe had a, I don't know, it was had a swear word in it or something like that, and uh, I had to register that I was over 18, which involved me ringing them up and saying, yes, I'm the bill payer, and yes, I've, uh, I would like... Um, I'd like my access to uh, to be full access to the net. So, Ooh, you dirty! <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, well, to be fair, I, did, I didn't. I can't even think what forum it was. It certainly wasn't uh, anything risque. Um, but it, it, so for me, this is this was already in force. When I heard about the ISPs, it wasn't so much of a shock horror tactic because I've, I've already used had a similar experience on the phone. In fact, I think. I don't think it's a new policy either. I'm sure my last phone was exactly the same. I got sent a new phone. Um, and I don't know whether they're filtering on words or had some sort of built-in uh, filter there, really. but um, yeah, I had to register, uh, which was quite strange, But uh, and I'd completely forgotten about it until I saw the news article, but there you go. So suffice to say, my phone is unlocked for what's deemed as adult content. Um, 
and I can assure everybody that there's certainly no adult content in this because uh, I have a wife. Yeah, who'd be very that, angry. that's what they all say. <laughs> yeah, so probably. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I was just checking those foreign educational. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and anyway, the uh, I was just going to mention Android. And then we spoke about code names, and somehow we got to like talking about censorship. But going back to the Android.